add these numbers together, like so, and then you drag down this. And you get this really annoying thing that it takes the formatting of the cell phone. Does that ever happen to anyone? Yeah. 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 No. It's really annoying, right? Well, I bet you you'd love this trick. If you click on this drop down, you get filled without formatting. and you use a formula that links to a cell, what often happens is you get this kind of thing, equals get pivot data. Has this ever happened to you? Then when you drag it down, it just kind of doesn't work. And this was annoying me for the longest time, until I realized that it's a setting that you can just turn off. If you go to File and Options, and if you go to Formulas, you just untick this box, you just get pivot data functions for pivot table references, take off that tick, press OK, and then when you link to a cell, now it's just a regular cell reference, which means you can do that. Let's say that we want to get rid of everything in this. Let's say you want to just delete everything. How would you do that? You guys are going to give me some ideas. Delete and merge. Press the delete button on your keyboard. Well, and then you've got to do this. And go to no borders, and then you've got to do this. And it's about like 15,000 clicks. And just when you get it done, you've still got some red text. So, no, that sucks. You guys suck. Give me a better idea. <laughs> Break your computer. Clear yourselves. Break your computer. Um, Start a new sheet. <laughs> Yeah, all right, uh, done, done. <laughs> <laughs> Any other ideas, any other suggestions? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pay an outsourcing company to do it. <laughs> Pay an outsourcing company to do it, you're offering? What if you delete the columns B to F? Yeah, drag from B to F. You just want to delete, delete. 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 <laughs> everything. Yeah. 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 Almost like this room in Colonialist. Delete and stuff. Yeah. No, you got this guy who's like, don't move me. And there's some useful shit over here. So you don't want to get <laughs> Now, any other suggestions? Clear cells. Clear cells. Clear cells. Close. Some people are like, you can select this, another row, and then you can paste it into this. This is the option that sometimes you get. But you know what? That doesn't always work because you don't know that this is empty and also not everyone is privileged just to have this as an empty, uh, extra empty space. You know, this is the expression equivalent of white privilege. <laughs> <laughs> Any other suggestions? Someone said it before. I know that you know. <laughs> what is it? So you have this drop down next to the eraser button, and you have to clear all. Now we'll get rid of everything, you won't go. I didn't know that whole time. Do you I didn't know that. I did not. Me too. I've also clicked delete. Why didn't you delete? Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 which is also really useful. Um, that will get rid of all uh, the formatting and keep the underlying data, which is pretty cool. Um, so, but then you end up having some annoyances that happen here, right? If you go to that and you choose the formats, then these dates become numbers. It's kind of stupid. Um, I kind of don't love how Excel deals with dates, you know. What I sometimes get is something like this one. What date is that? What about if the next one says this one? Yeah, this is annoying, right? Well, that's a new way, that's why. Yeah, I know, I know, but it wasn't my fault because the fucking Americans. Why did Americans <laughs> fuck up dates? Yeah. I mean, honestly, why did they do it the other way around? It's like they do. We have to be more special you know. than you. <laughs> it's not our fault you don't get dates. <laughs> 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 
So if you do have dates like this in the US format and you want to switch them, there's a really hidden feature. In the data tab, you have text to columns. Feature I'm about to show you has nothing to do with text to columns, it just happens to be in that box. You click next two times, and then in the second, in the third window, you get this date, and you can choose MDY, which yeah. is the source data of what you want to change. When you're done with that, you can press finish, and then it will switch them. Wow. Wow. There you go. There you go. All right, we've got another one. So let's say that you have some nice format here, and you want to apply this format to another column. You guys are probably aware of the paintbrush, either from using it in your spreadsheets or from sniffing it. And, I'm <laughs> and then you can apply the format somewhere else. But what a lot of people don't know is if you double click on the format painter, it locks it in. So you can click there, you can click there, you can also click here, and it locks it in. And this works in Excel, PowerPoint, and Word, and Outlook, and OneNote. Did I that one? Yeah! Uh, what would it do in PowerPoint? People would get yeah, high on anything. You also have these things. You click on it, and it jumps you across the sheet. And I, these are called hyperlinks. And I get more and more excited every time I click them. I get more and more high uh, links. Ah. <laughs> no, here we've got our friends. So these are the actual pictures and cells, as I said, I didn't make it up. If you have an image like this, you can click on that and throw it inside the cell like this. And you can use them in a bunch of things. You can use them in formulas, you can do it equal, you can get that one. And you also have checkboxes, there's also a brand new feature, uh, insert checkbox over here. And in pictures, you have the ability to place them in cell. 